Hello and welcome to Sue's in the Shed and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make or assemble a crocheted stocking from Granny Squares. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make Granny Squares. If you can already make a Granny Square or a square of any description because this really isn't about making the Granny Square it's about how to put it together. The bigger the square the bigger your stocking. So if you can make a square, go off and make 19. If you can't, keep watching. So we're going to start with a slip knot on your hook. And we do this by wrapping the yarn around and pulling it through a loop like that. And that loop can then get tighter and looser as required. We're going to chain four. So we put our yarn round, we pull it through, that's one, and again, two, three, and four. We're going to join this little set of chains together to make a ring. So we're going to put the hook into the very first one, and we're going to fetch the yarn back through, and that's joined it, and it's made a little hole there, just like that. The next thing we're going to do is chain three. This becomes your first stand up treble. So that becomes your first stitch. And we're going to do another two trebles into that little hole. So yarn round, through the hole, yarn back. Be careful not to uh, use your tail, just leave it there and work over it. Yarn round, pull through two, yarn round, pull through two. And again, yarn round, through the hole, yarn back. Yarn round, through two, yarn round, through two. Now you'll see there, we've still got the little hole at the bottom here, but now we've got three stitches. One, two, three. So the first chain we did right at the start counts as your first stitch in this segment only. Now we're going to make a hole for the next row. So we're going to chain two. So one, two. Then we're going to go back and put another three trebles into this same hole. So yarn round, through and back, through two, through two, and again. Yarn round, through and back, through two, through two. And one more time, yarn round, through and back, through two, through two. And let's have a look at that now. So we've got three stitches there, one, two, three, and then a hole, and three there, one, two, three. So we're halfway around. Let's do that again. So we're going to do the two chain to make the next hole, and three more trebles into this space. Yarn round, through, back, yarn round, two off, yarn round, two off. Again, yarn round, through the hole, back, Yarn round, two off, yarn round, two off. And again, yarn round through the hole, yarn back, yarn round, two off, yarn round, two off. Now we've got three sets of three. One more time, so we're going to do the two chain. I'm going to pull them around just to make sure there's enough space there. And we're going to do the last set of three trebles. So yarn round, through, yarn back, yarn round two off, yarn round two off, and again. Yarn back, two off, two off. Now one last time, two off, two off. So you'll see now that we've got four sets of three, one, two, three, four, with holes in the middle. We've just got to make the last hole there and we're going to slip stitch it to join to the first stitch. So we follow this up, we find the first stitch there at the top, put your hook in, fetch the yarn back through both, one single chain, we're going to cut your yarn and you pull it up and out. The one single chain that you did at the end creates the knot. So let's have a look at what we've got there. So we've got four sets of three with four distinct holes. Next round, change your yarn colour, pop your hook in, 
hold your yarn like that and we're just going to fetch it through. So I've got hold of both ends there. Use both ends to make the first stitch. This is your anchor stitch. Then drop the tail and do two more. This is your three chain. That is your standing chain and it becomes your first stitch. So that's your first treble. We're going to do another two trebles, exactly the same as what we did on the first round, but into this space here. So yarn round, two off, two off. And again, yarn round, fetch it back, two off, two off. I'm going to add a corner, one, two. And we're going to do another three into the same hole. That's one, two, and three. And let's just have a look at what we've got there. So we've added another corner into the corner. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump to this corner and we're going to do exactly the same, but we're not going to chain in between because we're only going to chain on the corners and not in between them. So we're going to jump into this corner and do the three trebles, two chain, three trebles. So three trebles. That's one. Two. Three. Two chain. And another three trebles. One. Two. And three. Let's just have a look at what we've got there. So now we've got two corners. And we're going to continue this. No chain now, remember, because only chain on corners. We're going to jump to the next space and do the same. Three, two, three. One. Two. Three. Two chain. One. Two. Got a little bit of fluff there. And three. I'm going to go for the last set in the last hole. Three, two, three. One. Two. That's my dog trying to get in. Three, in case you can hear it. And if you can't hear it, you're going to wonder what I'm talking about now. <laughs> and the last three. One. Two. And three. So we're going to join this with a slip stitch to the first stitch. So follow this chain up till we get to the first stitch at the top. Yarn round, fetch it through, do your one single chain, cut your yarn, pull it up and out, create your knot. And that's what we're looking at now. So round three. So, pick a corner, any corner, pop your hook in. We're going to join it the same way as we did last time. Just fetch that yarn through. Use both ends to make the first stitch. Drop your tail and another two. One, two. So, we're going to do the corners exactly the same as what we did on the last row. So, we're going to do three, two, three. So, that's one. Another two. Two chain and another three. One, two, and three. Corner in a corner. Now, this time we can't jump straight to this corner because there's a gap here which we've got to fill. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put three trebles into that gap. No chain, just three trebles. One, two, three. This brings us to another corner where we're going to do three, two, three. One, two, three, two chain and another three trebles, same space. One, two, 
three. We're going to continue that all the way around. So just three trebles into the middle sections. One, two, three. And don't worry too much about these ends because you'll need to sew them all in to make them nice and secure at the end. And we'll come back to the corner. So three, two, three. One, two, three, and two, and three. One, two, three. We'll come to the side again. So we're just going to put three into that space there. One, two, three, and three, two, three in the end. One, two, three, and two, and three. One, two, three. And that leaves one more space to do your last three. One, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch it to join to the first stitch back there again, just like that. One single chain, cut it, pull it. So there we have a three round granny square. If you wanted to do another round and make it bigger, the corners are exactly the same, but so you'd have a corner there, a corner there, but this time you've got two gaps. So you would put your three, two, three in the corner, then three, then three, then three, two, three in the corner. And so on, if you want to make it even bigger. So off you go. Go and make 19 granny squares and come back for the next part. Hit the pause button. Well, let's start joining. So we're going to take two granny squares. We're going to start with a slip knot on your hook. You're going to pop your granny squares. So that's the face side up and we're going to put them face side together. Now, if you look at these stitches here, that's a full stitch when you crochet in. You've got two pieces of yarn over your hook. We're only going to use the back loops only of the stitch so the back loops only of this square that's closest to you is the one that's closest to you there and the back loop only on that one is the one that's furthest away okay i'm going to start right in the corner and pick up the back loops of the corner stitch I'm going to fetch the yarn through in a slip stitch. So don't pull it too tight or you'll get a pucker. Keep it nice and soft. So back loop. Back loop. Slip stitch. Back loop. Back loop. Slip stitch. Back loop. Back loop. Slip stitch. Back loop, back loop, slip stitch. You can see I'm not pulling these slip stitches tight at all. You can also see that I've picked up the wrong colour red. Never mind. Back loop, back loop, slip stitch. Back loop, back loop. I didn't catch that all there. Slip stitch. Back loop, back loop, slip stitch. And again. I'm coming very close to the end. Two more stitches. The tails get in the way a little bit. Just move them out of the way. And the last one right in the corner. And right in the corner for that. Slip stitch. One single chain. Cut it and pull it. And there you have it. 
join and you should be able to see the two ridges that are left on each side of the square. So it looks nice and neat. So what you need to do is you need to go and join this in the formation of what I'm going to show you. Take a screenshot and you need to join the squares in that formation. Then come back. So when you've done all your joining, what we should have now is these kind of rows. So you've got four at the top there, then another four, then another four. Then we've got four, but it's joined like that. And then three like that. So the next thing we're going to do is join these three together. So when you've got that, the next part that's going to be joined is this part and we're going to join it just that square, that square, just like that. So off you go, do that, come back. And your final part is going to fit in there, just like that. But you're only going to join those two squares. So flip that one out of the way and just join that one to that one and come back. Your next step then is we're going to flip this over. Just smooth it out a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to join this line to this line. So I know that sounds complicated, but all we've got to do is fetch that round. Like that. and join that line to that line. So let me show you that again. We'll flip it all over. You're looking at this, and we're going to join this line to this line. So fetch them round and join those. Just join those two squares, four squares together. We're still on the inside out, but I've joined that bit now and you'll see that that's kind of left your little heel in there and that just nicely flips over. The next little bit we want to join is this square here. Now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. We're going to fold this square in half like that and we're going to join that line. So just check that you've got it all in nicely. And it looks like that. I'm going to fold this square in half and join it to that square there. So if we pick that up, it's just across there like that. So hopefully you're looking at something like this. So the next step is these three squares here, we're going to fold them over like that. Uh, you can see the stocking coming together now. So let me show you that again. Just fold them over like that. And we're going to sew across that one, across that one. And then you can actually carry on and sew down that and across the bottom. So across that one, across that one, then join those two and across the bottom. Now we have a lovely stocking shape and all you have to do is sew up final seam which is those three to those three so off you go do that and come back so there's your stocking all joined up oh no look at all those tails so you've got a little bit of work to do sewing all those in and then we're going to turn it the right way in and now we're going to put a top on an edge in so now we're going to add a nice border to the top of the stocking and I've chosen this fluffy eyelash yarn for mine but of course you can use whatever your yarn you've got laying about or whatever you choose to buy. So we're going to start with a slip knot. It's a little bit trickier with this fluffy yarn to see where you are. And you'll notice I've sewn all the ends in except these ones because I can work across those as I go. 
and I'm going to start at the back of the stocking and I'm going to pop, just pull that a little bit tighter, pop my hook in into the seam, fetch the yarn back through them both and we're going to chain two and a half treble is yarn round through your space, yarn back, yarn round and you take all three off. So round, through, all three off. And you notice that I'm just going, I'm going into the spaces in between the stitches rather than into the stitches themselves, just because it makes life a little bit easier for me. And with this fluffy yarn, all you want to do is make life a little bit easier. So I'm going to work that all the way around. And when you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch to join. Now your stitches are going to be, if you're using this yarn, your stitches are going to be quite hard to see. So just pot look, pop your hook in and join it. If you're obviously using a double knit yarn, then use the correct stitch because you'll be able to see that. And to do another row, we're going to chain two and we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to work one half treble into every space. And you're going to do this for four rows. So off you go, do that and come back. And finally, when you've got all your border in place, we've ended because we started on the back seam, we've also ended there. So I'm going to do a little hanger just directly from there. And I'm just simply going to chain about 40. So that's two. Three, four, five. 38, 39, 40. And yeah, that's long enough. So we're going to just slip stitch it back into the bottom there. One single chain, cut it, pull it up and out and obviously you're going to sew that end in. And there we have your Christmas stocking. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, feel free to send me some photographs. Or tag me on Instagram, Susan the Shed, same name. Happy hooking!